So, popcorn kernels, here they are. Got five bones here at the moment. Uh, let's see if we can dial a couple of them. Okay. Okay. Got this one. Come on, come on. Come on, cook. Come on. Why is it calling? It's ringing my Hey! Phone. Come on. It should work now. It should work now. It should work now. Oh! I answered it. Oh, well, that didn't work then. <laughs> So, Will, if you'd like to explain how it didn't work, and uh, well, it, it is working. You just focus in on Will. Okay. You okay. The whole no, 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 no. Oh wow! Look at that. It's amazing. It just it happened like that. That's, it, it, it blink and you'll miss it. The the chemical reaction is so swift that you you sometimes you know you can actually miss it. It's not it's like it. Oh, uh, there you go. Uh, um, well, you know, obviously, you know, uh, there's a lot of experiments we do here on Weird Science. Um, they don't always go to plan. Um, luckily, we do have a plan B. So if you just join us, we're just going to pop over to the uh, kitchen in the Chelmsford Radio uh, headquarters. And we found something else we can do, which involves um, all, those, all that energy and stuff that's moving around that we can't see in the air around us. Static electricity. Now, you're probably familiar, if you remember uh, science classes and stuff, you know, getting a balloon out and rubbing it against your hair and seeing it actually make your hair stand on end. But we're going to do something else that's even more impressive. And, of course, you can always do that and put the balloon on the wall. Have you heard that one? That's true, that's yeah. True. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Sort of right. Okay. okay, so what's, how's this work then? Well, you've got to rub it on your hair and create a bit of static electricity. It's all, it's all about friction, building up that static electricity. And then it wants to transfer to something else. And that's why you see these phenomena like sticking to the walls and something else which we'll do with water in a second. Now, we're going to use Will's hair because I've got hair gel. So yeah, I'm that's my hair bald. Well. Have you washed your hair recently? Uh, my hair's all over the place. Actually, no, I washed it this morning. Yeah. Okay, right, so I just sort of... Yeah, keep doing it, yeah, yeah, get some real friction there. Right, okay. This is the way to do it. Okay. Um, should be enough. Now see if, see if my hair is um, standing up. You put it yeah, 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 right, right. Stick right, into it. Yeah. Now, something else we can do, if you just rub it a bit more. Yeah. Is it works the same with water. In what because way? Because again, again, it's just the, the conductor, which is the balloon, just wants to, um, the electricity wants to jump from there onto something else. So if you hold it near to this little bit of, to a very, very thin stream of water, come and look at this, wow. it will bend. Look. look at that, it bends, because it wants to jump across and the water is bending towards it. That is weird science. And we call that one a success. Now let's see, let's see that again. And of course, if any weird science things you can think about is trying to sort of stop yourself from getting injured, then do let us know and we might give it a go.